Hey guys, welcome to Unit Home. I'm Siddharth, and today I'm going to explain you the first exercise of dual compressor simulation. In this simulation, there is a compressor which contains two pumps, pump one and pump two, which will ut be utilized to maintain the pressure of this pressure tank. Okay, and there are two sensors, PE one and PE two, which will be give you the feedback, whatever the pressure is, and the we can set the preset value or the cutoff value from here by using your mouse pressing this button and you can increase the value and decrease the value so in this first exercise we are going to utilize just one pump so just move to our exercise we are going to understand what we have to do in this exercise we have to use this one pump to maintain the pressure here and uh, the preset value will be given from here this pressure sensor this upper blue color block will be shown here this is the upper limit of pressure so whenever you give the value from pressing these buttons up and down the value will increase and decrease so this is the upper limit value so and uh, whenever we press the start button so first step whenever we press the start button this run led will glow and pump will start after this pump start the pressure of tank will increase and whenever the pressure will reach this set value which is 120 the pump must stop here you can see the flow rate this is the pump pressure decreasing flow rate so whenever the pump is stop or it is not stopped this uh, by this flow rate the pressure will decrease okay and here you can see the 20 this is the span okay if the pump is stopped on 120 this will restart again on 100 so when the pressure will be decreased by 20 pressure reaches again 100 this pump will start again so the pressure will be maintained so just move to our simulator and understand how we program it So you can open the simulation from simulation dual compressor simulator here you can see this is the dual compressor simulation so let's start our programming first we are going to insert the examine if close here and give the start button input to it and I am going to insert a output energize and give the run led output to it okay so whenever i press the start button this run led will glow but until we maintain to press the start button this led will glow and when we release the start button this led will not glow okay so what we have to do we have to give a holding here so this must be inside it uh, here this output must be here so whenever we press the start button this run led will glow and will maintain its state until we have pre to press this stop button so what we have to do we have to insert one more exam and if close here and give the stop button output now when we press the start button this led will glow and when we press the stop button this led will goes low okay so now i am going to edit the symbol and give the name to it so you can better understand this is start this is run and this is stop okay so when we press the start button this run led will glow and when we press the stop button this run led will goes low you can also name it as run enable because you are going to use this bit in future runs okay so you can name it as run enable and use this bit to run your pump again here is the run bit run enable now what i am going to give the output of pump 1 okay i am going to name it pump 1 but what we have to do here we have to maintain the pressure of this tank with the help of this pressure sensor 
So here must be a pressure sensors input which is I colon 1 slash 2 I'm going to name it as PE1 okay now you can understand whenever the running level is high and the pressure is between range this pump 1 will run otherwise this pump will stop whenever the pressure will reach 120 and uh, will not decrease until it's spawn this well the pump will not start okay one more thing whenever the pump run the c1 led will glow so you can maintain the led here in the parallel or simply insert a rung here and pump input and you can utilize here this c1 leds input output and added the symbol name it as c1 now we have to understand what is happening here just download okay so when we press the start button here you can see the pump is started and the pressure in is increasing but as well as the pressure is decreasing with the help of this flow rate 50 percent so i am going to decrease it so the pressure will increase fast and you can understand what is happening inside here here you can see the pressure is increasing this run led is glowing because i press the start button and the c1 is glowing because the pump is running okay so whenever the pressure will reach 120 this pump must be start this c1 led will stop but the run led will glow continuously because the process is in working state it is going to complete 11 12 13 14 so you can see the pressure is reached 120 and now the pump is stopped okay because the input of this pressure sensor is high and here you can see the pump is stopped and the c1 led is also not glowing but the process is running so we can increase the flow rate so the pressure will decrease with this flow rate here you can see by increasing the flow rate the pressure pressure value is decreasing so i am going to maintain it 50 percent so the pressure is decreasing now whenever this pressure will decrease to 20 and uh, this pressure will reach to 100 this pump must be restart wait for it here you can see the pressure is now reached the pump is restarted again and the value here is c1 is also glowing and this value is increasing and i am not doing with uh, anything with the flow rate so the pressure is also decreasing with this flow rate but increasing with the help of pump so here you can see the pressure is increasing slowly but it will maintain once again just wait for the 120 and see whether the pump is stop or not okay now it's seized here you can see pump is stopped the pressure is decreasing fast because pump is not working and whenever the pressure reaches 100 the pump will start again back to our programming